<laughs> and it's never really gone. I sung it a few times, and I never really, never really liked the way it came out. So um, I sang it the last uh, couple of weeks at the, at the NSAI um, chapter meeting, and most of the people thought I should put it back in the box. Or something like that. But, um, I'm gonna try it again and uh, refine it a little bit, and hope you like it. Let me take you on a tour of my house There's a lot to see Some people think it's getting cluttered But everything's a treasure to me Set a presidential pace, papers full of old news, 80 pairs of old shoes. There's rocks from the east and west and pebbles in between them, but I can't find my marbles. Have you seen them? Pack rat, pack rat, save that, don't throw it away. Pack rat, pack rat, might need it someday. So you see, I've got a problem. I've got those jeans too. So to help cope with the situation, I bought a couple of books. How to organize your stuff and get on with your life. That book disappeared under a stack someplace as soon as I got it home, and I haven't seen it since. How to clean out the clutter and chaos from your closets and create clarity, contemplation, concentration, and conscious conscientiousness. Turns out that one was written by a con man. <laughs> well, I've got beads, seeds, seaweed, chicken feed, millipedes, books to read, coats of tweed, band-aids if your finger bleeds, moldy mead, house deeds, horns from the dead steeds, scale. The halls they impede and the rooms they exceed. Though I hate to say it, I must concede, I got more stuff than all you people will ever need. Pack rat, pack rat, save that. Another book. <laughs> How to recycle, reuse, reorganize, regurgitate, rejuvenate, reconstitute, revitalize your stuff, your life, and the Republican Party. <laughs> and as you can tell, that book never helped anyone anywhere. <laughs> well, I got wishbones, pine cones, phonographs, telephones, shoe boxes, candy rocks, two stuffed red foxes, folks hanging on the door, see some dried apple cores, old cottage cheese containers, party hats, and tea strainers. Every cranny and nook has pieces and bits, but please help me look, I think I've lost my wits. Pack rat, pack rat, save that, don't throw it away. Pack rat, pack rat, it might be worth something someday. I even tried that ancient oriental technique of channeling the energy around your personal space by the strategic placement of mushrooms. You know what I'm talking about. Funga shui. <laughs> I know, it's, it'll grow on you. <laughs> then I got a proper pseudo-psychomedical diagnosis and learned that I am a compulsive hoarder with a personality disorder, borderline border, who plays a wretched recorder. Well, I save lids and tops, coffee pots, 60 kinds of whatnot, date cards, styrofoams, pocket pins, brushes, hairpins, cones, towels, sheets, and pillowcases, postcards from my kinds of places, silver coins, poaches, stamps, bulbs, and kerosene lamps. Pack rat, pack rat, save that, don't throw it away. Pack rat, pack rat, might be worth something someday. What did I tell you about the records? I got 
hundreds and hundreds of LPs, 45, 78s, Motown classics, rock classic, early country, all the vinyl that people are seeking out now and play, paying the big money for. I think I'll just save stuff until they come back in style. Pack rat, pack rat, save that. Thank you.